Hi there. How are you guys doing? Hope you're doing great. Uh, I promised getting you another tutorial to prepare you for uh, the exams and also prepare you for life as far as JavaScript is concerned. Okay, so uh, let's dive in. This is uh, what we've been working with so far. So when you come in, it's a template we are using, right? So as you mean, we want to go about a task. And, uh, this is a task. We want to develop an application or a website to kind of provide us with a button, okay? So we have here, to provide us with a button. Let me see when I can change the annotation. Yeah. This is using a mouse. Can't see what yeah. Yeah, I wanted to change the, the cursor. It looks like it wasn't changing. All right, so you let's continue. So assuming you want to want to create a button, all right? Then one click you should access whether we want or we have a cookbook. So it's like action interacting with the chef okay so when you click on the button it should ask you that you have a cookbook there so in other words the chef that is asking you those questions well you have a cookbook and what do we basically use cookbooks for we use it to prepare different types of dishes that we have so assuming you have an appropensa cookbook uh, recipe you can have these recipes inside a cookbook. So is it in the in terms of programming? If you want to develop a, a Python application, you need to have a Python cookbook. And if you want to develop a JavaScript React uh, application, you can you can use a React cookbook, right? If you want to develop a PHP, you can use cook a uh, PHP cookbook, or in other words, you want to even prepare Banku, you need to use what? Um, a Banku recipe, we can be found in the Banku cookbook, all right? So that is basically that. So when uh, the answer is yes, then they should let us, they should give us the opportunity to do it to prepare any type of dish that we want to prepare. If we say no, then we need to decide on what we want. Okay, so this should provide us another opportunity to make decisions in particular. No, okay. So basically, that is that about um, that. So let's, let's dig in. So we want to present, we want to have a, we want to have a form here, a little button here that we can click for it to give us the response we so desire. So we come into the content area that we put in a form, all right? 
open a form. Then the form should have an input. What input do we intend to put here? We say submit. Okay. Then what name do we call it? Submit. Okay. What value do we give it? So the value would give it a certain name on this object. So say click to um, click to interact. Let's say interact. Interact. With Jeff. So this will, will appear on the on the form. Then we we'll also say that on click, we want to give it an event handler so that when you activate or you click on it, it should pop up. Um a certain or should call a function. Call the function. So we say ask Jeff and Jeff and we put it in and this right. So when this happens and means we're gonna call Jeff. Now we don't have this there right now so Copying it, right? So that I can create a JavaScript function. So we say function. We have func logo then. Yeah. I'll replace it with this. Okay. So we say function Jeff. Let's try whether this works first. But that's the most important thing. If it doesn't connect, then you know that you aren't going to have an MA9. Okay. So let's see. Let's use our list to see whether we have a connection. Let's type in the high. If. Okay. So there's this alone. A tester. We wish to test whether we can connect to our JavaScript. Now you know how to connect to JavaScript. Okay, so let's quickly go there. Okay, let's refresh. Let's see. Okay, so we have it appearing here. Let it be in the middle. So here I'll put in center. Okay, let's do this. Um, okay, I'll go for this. Okay. And I'll cut this. Put it under this and save. And refresh again. Let's see whether it moves. Yeah, so it moves. So you click to interact. Let's click. So it says hi. You can see. Okay, let's click again. Hi. So once this has been established, then we know that we can go ahead and write our script. Okay, that's why it's called a JavaScript. Once that connection has been established, then you know that it's going to work for you. So but let's not forget that thing that after the prompt, when you click on it, it should be able to ask you, do you have a cookbook? So let's deal with that first. Okay, so we'll take off this, right? Since you can connect it means we can go ahead. So what do we do? We create a variable and put book, right? A variable means that it should be equal to now we will be expecting a prom. Prom. Yeah, so prompt. You're going to prompt the user 
to answer some questions. The other question is the question the question here is coming from the chef. Actually, do you have a cookbook? Right? Cookbook. Very question mark there. And then using a prompt, meaning you can can accept two two parameters. So this is one parameter that starts here. I will ask the question, do you have a good book? Now, this one gives the other side of this, so two. So I'll give the response, right? Okay, so here we just ask the question you know, to the user to find out whether the user has a good book. And we will want to find out if indeed it has it. So we say, if Let's copy this. I'll be doing a lot of this, okay? So, if now don't forget to you are comparing the answer that will come here. So, the answer that will come here will be either yes or no. So, you say, Do you have a cookbook? So, here we are expecting to get two answers either a yes or no. Now, let's catch the yes aspect. So, here we we'll say yes, right? So if yes, what should be the comments? So we wanted to do something. If yes, it should have left. If yes, then we should say let's make it more fun. Oh, okay. This means you can prepare yeah, you can prepare any dish with a press uh, for the recipe recipes okay this means you can prepare any dish with the recipes you find all right you find in the book okay let's let's leave let, let's leave it at that okay this means you can prepare any dish with the recipes you find right so don't forget to terminate right so if we have this going then we can do the else aspect so we'll say if this then we'll come here and put an else else what do we expect it to do else let's like just for now put in an alert Then uh, say, okay, this means you can prepare an addition. Else, you need to decide. You need to decide on what you want to cook. Hey, haha. <laughs> Cook, right? Yep. Okay, so we will we'll try this out and see what the effect is gonna be like. So we save. Okay, so do you have a cookbook? Yes. Oh okay. This means you can prepare, you see? Yeah, you can prepare any dish with recipes you find mean that you are good to go but if no you say you need to decide on what you want to cook okay so now at this point since we're gonna decide what we need to cook 
Yeah, it means we can throw in another block of uh, quest name in here, another block of quest name in here, so that it continues for us. Otherwise, it will just end there. So, and you see, since we are on this path, the yes aspect has been answered. So now, here we are referring to just the no aspect. So, if it is going to be no, then it means that we can decide to have a branch, okay, of yes and no again inside the else. So here you could even so have an if statement in here, okay, to still carry on with the decision making. But we want to branch a bit. Today we'll look at uh, what we call a switch, a switch, a switch. A switch is more or less like um, uh, an, a one way form of answering, just like a traffic light. If you approach a traffic light, it's going to give you light, right? You're not going to see it, but light. So, the right, then the light, we have different kinds of lights with different meanings. So, if it's red, it means stop. If it is green, it means go. If it's Amber, then it means you should do it. You should get ready to stop. You get it. So that is how it is. It's able to answer one line of multiple conditions, right? So here we would use a, a switch in here. So how do we handle that? And then it means we will have to uh, create a variable to handle that okay let's create a variable to handle that so we say var then we'll give it under term really red psi p clear recipe is got to then we we'll have to prompt prompt Wrong. and ask the question here. So here we'll have uh, two answers coming in from there. Okay, so we want to find out whether you, you would like to uh, you have a recipe on just chili or you have a chili recipe that you can use to prepare a meal. If not, then it should it should tell us something. Okay. All right. So here we're saying, do you have? I'm gonna ask a question like, do you then have a chili? Recipe. Don't forget, since it's a prompt, will be action. We need to get some answers here. Okay, so you have chili recipe. Why? Why? Why are we doing this? So we want to now put in a switch, and in this switch. We'll be making reference to this. We'll pass this variable here. Because without it, it's not going to be able to cut whatever we are referring to. So now we have another set of uh, functions. So we're saying that if the response that comes here is yes. It should catch it and tell us what we should do. If it is no to, it should catch it and tell us what to do. And if the person decides to type something else other than the two expected, we're expecting a yes and no. So other than that, then it should still catch it and tell us what to do. 
right? That is the relevance of putting in a switch case. So we say in the case where the answer is yes from here, if the answer there is yes, then see you put a column, a full column. Then we are saying that it should alert. Oh, no, I forgot to put there. Yeah. All right. So it should alert as on something. So we say, yes, you may prepare some hot chili with this because it says, if indeed you have this, then. So the answer is yes. Then you can prepare some chili hot meal, hot meal now, okay? So this is what we get. So, we are done, that means it should be able to break out of this. So we terminate it. So if yes, I let then you can prepare some chili hot meal. Now let's make it today. Today, huh? then we'll bring out of it. So now another case will come. So at this point, you can copy this and use it, all right? Or we can say in a case where the answer is no, put in this, in a case where it's no, then we're saying that it should behave or in other words, still go ahead to ask some questions. So at this point, you say, we keep a variable. And we'll call this variable web, web connect. Right is equal to, so web connect is going to prompt, right? It's gonna prompt us to ask a question. And the question is simple. It says, do you have internet connection? Because we would like to find out whether you have internet connection so that we can go online and search for some other recipe that would be of help to us. So we, we, we ask a question. Say, saying, then you can prepare some chili hot meal. Okay, so here we are saying that if the response is no, then we have to ask. Please do you have internet connection? Okay, so that why are we asking this question so that we can go online with it, all right? So we can we could have play that information in there, right? So now we don't need it. So we just go ahead and then I can statement again to catch to be able to catch what will come in here. Okay. So we're saying that if Web connect, meaning that if web connect compared with this response, the answer is yes, then it should do something for us. You see how interesting the whole thing is. It should do something for us. What should it do? Then it means we want to say something in regard to that answer. 
that yes we can go online with it so if connect is then we can alert okay we can alert that we can go online to find some recipes or supplies. Right? We can go online to find some recipes. So since this and here, yeah, then we can give the else statement for this. So that if it is the answer is negative, then we should be able to say something. All right. Either we are on the bright path or we are off that track. So here it says, unless we can go online to find some recipes. Else. Okay. Else we should be able to alert. that we have run out of options. We don't have any other thing to talk about. Since we seem not to have a clear mind. So here we are saying that we can go online to find some recipe. That is if it's positive. But if it is negative, then we want to say that, oh, sorry. We have run out of options. Okay, so here we are just trying to tell the user that we have run out of options and we don't have anything else to say because we seem not to get anything. So everything is negative, negative, negative throughout. So here, let me see, okay. This one ends here. Okay, so if this is ending here, let's see where this one ends. Recipe. Okay, so if this way it ends, then we can come down out of this and do a break. Because don't forget that it's working for this case. No. So we can do a break out of it. Right, we finish answering the question there, then we terminate it. Okay, then we put one last term that is called a default term. Default. So the default also follows the same. Okay, put so default, meaning that at this point, maybe you have typed something that is not within the answers we have here, yes and no. Okay, so if it is neither yes nor no, we, we would have to put in here an alert. Okay. We have to put in an, an alert. I like to tell the person that that what he or she has typed is out of range. Okay. So please remain focused. So here we can say, please, you are out of range and focus oh crap just place the invalid so we expect that the user will be able to remain within the answer question yes yes or no and if it is no 
then this should happen. All right. If it is no, we will go ahead and then ask questions. We are assuming the person decides to type something other than the yes and no. Then we'll give them this as a as a response. Okay. So you see it everything ends. So this one, okay, this if started here, then else we have else continuing to the very end. So if you click on this, you see that it comes down to this, it ends here. Then this is the open one, the big one. Okay, so I think we are done with this. Let's go on to refresh our page here to see what the response will be like. Okay. Okay, so we could have gone even here to the index. This click on this so that it creates a new page for us. Then so click to interact with chef. Now let's do our interaction. Do you have the cookbook? So here we say yes. We know what the answer is going to be here. It's going to say okay, you can go ahead of it. Okay, this means you can prepare this. So assuming we decide to say no, we don't have a cookbook, then it should access. Do you then have a chili recipe? So if we say yes, I'll be the response. Then you can prepare some chili hot meal today. You get it? So assuming we say uh, no here and decide to also say no here. Okay, so do you have a chili recipe? Then it comes. So since we don't have a chili recipe, then it wants us to go online. That's why it's asking us. Please, do you have internet connection? So let's say I say yes. Then this should be able to tell me that we can find something online. Okay, so we can go online to find some recipes. You get it. So assuming on the event that we say we we don't have a cookbook and we don't also have a chili recipe, and we don't also have internet connection. Sorry, we have run out of options. Okay, so if we have run out of options, what's next? So here you can decide to advise the person, please cook gobe. <laughs> okay, that we can do so easily. So here we can say that since uh, we have run out of options, let's see here, sorry, we have run out of options. Okay, but you can go back. Okay, so we just changed our come back, refresh, then we interact. Okay, so we say no, we don't have a cookbook, no, we don't have a chili recipe. No, we don't have internet. Sorry, we are out of options. Okay, so in the case where we say no, we don't have cookbook, and no, we don't have chili. And here we say uh, yes, we have internet connection. Then it should tell us that we can go online to find some recipes. Get it. So it has been able to handle all those other negative aspects. So we say no. Do you have chili? We say no. Do you have internet connection? We say yes. If we say yes, it will send us. Now let's say if we say no, then to tell us we don't have any option. Here, let me just type any just type any word. So we say that once I have Type that it tells us sorry, we have run out of options, but you can cook for me. Go back. I get it. So it's handling all the negative questions. So here, do you have chili? So assuming here, we even decide to say we are typing anything apart from the yes and no to tell us something. So it says, please, you are out of range. 
remain focused. So it means that once you type something that is not within that space, right, it will handle that request. So that is what we have the default here, right? Okay, so uh, you have this tutorial to work with. I intended to give you another assignment. So the assignment is for you to be able to do something like this for me, all right? Do exactly that. So make sure it works on your machine, okay? If you're able to get that done, then you send it to me. So when we come, any questions you have, you can you can ask me. I wish you all the best. See you soon. Bye.